everybody, it's Lit Lego, and today I'm going to give you just a very basic tutorial of how to render using Mechabricks. I'm just going to show you like kind of how it works and how to use it. I'm not really going to show you how to do custom printing or anything really complicated like that. I'm just going to, you know, give you kind of an introduction, I guess you could say, to Mechabricks. I really hope that this tutorial is helpful, and if you do enjoy it, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. But let's just go ahead and get into this. So first of all, you are going to need to go to the Mechabricks website. It should look like this, pretty simple. And after that, you're going to want to make an account. It should usually say login or sign up. As you can see, I've already made an account, so I'm not going to need to do that. This is completely free, by the way, um, but you do get a limit of 10 free renders per day, which is um, still pretty good. So yeah, it's not unlimited, but it is pretty much free. So you're going to go ahead and go to shop. And as you can see, you have this thing, it's called Blender Light, and it's zero dollars and zero cents. You're going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to add it to your cart and you're going to download it. I've already got it downloaded, so it's just going to say that. But um, yeah, once you've got it all downloaded, you're going to make your way over to this tab over here called the Workshop. This is what you should see. It's a little bit similar to things like, I think, stud.io and um, LDD is definitely a little bit like this. You see all of your pieces over here. You've got your colors over here so you can change the colors. Um, and then you can click this drop down and you've got all sorts of different parts, which is great. It's a huge selection. It, they don't have every single little tiny piece that exists, but they do have a pretty large selection. There's a bunch of tools over here as well, which I will go over eventually in this video. But basically, you can go ahead and start your build. You basically just click on a piece and it should show up and you can rotate it and you can move it along those right there. So basically, you can see these arrows when you select a piece and basically if you hover over them, they turn yellow. And then when you see it that it's yellow, you can go ahead and click it and then it will go whichever direction. That you want it so yeah you can also delete things by either clicking the trash button or clicking the actual delete thing you can undo stuff you can redo stuff um, whatever you want you can also duplicate things which is very useful um, but yeah I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete both of those things uh, because I'm actually going to make a minifigure and then in terms of making a minifigure uh, you're going to see a bunch of tabs over here when you click upper parts or lower parts, you will see that there are all the themes over here. Um, and then you can kind of narrow it down from there. If you just want a plain one, then you can just go to the minifigures tab and you can click upper parts, lower parts, whatever you want. And everything will be plain. So you've got like dual molded ones and all the specialized ones as well. And then that goes for the legs and heads as well. There's also a search bar, so you can really search whatever you want. So for example, if I want to put in Jedi, I can go ahead and do that. And you can see all of the Jedi torsos and legs and uh, different pieces that they have. I am going to make an Anakin for this video. Um, so I will go ahead and click these legs and they will show up right there. Pretty cool. I'm going to keep them selected because I'm going to click the torso. And it should pop on right there. And uh, anyway, I'm just going to finish putting on the pieces and then I will come back. Alright, so now I've got kind of his basic pieces. I haven't put his lightsaber in yet, but because uh, I'm going to show that. Um, but also, I forgot to mention, uh, feel free to like have my video in another tab and then Mechabricks in another so that you can kind of follow along, I guess, and pause the video whenever you would like. Um, I think that would probably be the best way to follow this tutorial, but... Um, yeah, anyway, so now that we've got kind of the regular elements, I'm actually going to go ahead and pose the minifigure. So you can go ahead and click this arrow over here. You can, there's a bunch of different um, settings. I'm going to use multiple because I'm going to select his head and his hair so I can rotate it. Um, I'm going to click that point down there because that's the point that we want to rotate from. And then you're going to go over here to move. And then you've got translation, which means move and rotation, which is obviously rotation. So I'm going to go to rotation and uh, you've got the X, Y, and Z axis. The Y axis um, is the green one that goes up and down. The X axis, I think, is the red one and the Z axis, I think, is the blue one. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to rotate around the Y axis since we want 
his head to move like a regular Lego minifigure. So let's just say I'm going to go, I don't know, negative 30. You can put whatever number you want in there. You can also do decimals. Um, so yeah, it'll move like that. And then you can go ahead and like rotate whatever pieces you want. You can rotate the hands, you can rotate um, the arms. Uh, Mechabricks allows you to do some pretty illegal things. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I'm going to move one of his legs as well, kind of outwards. So I'll do that. Let's see if this works. There we go. And um, as you can see, it moved out. And obviously you can't do that with real Lego minifigures, which is the cool thing about Mechabricks. Um, so you can do all kinds of crazy positions and really whatever you want. Now I'm going to give him his lightsaber. So as you can see, I just searched lightsaber. Um, you can get the little hilt there. I'm going to set it over here for now, but um, yeah. And then we can also click the blade and get this over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of get this in position real quick. And I will be back, I guess. All right. So everything is in position there. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to select metal. I'm going to make it the silver color. And then I will select the hilt and I am going to make this a translucent blue. Um, and then how you're going to get this assembly into his hand is pretty simple. So first off, what you're going to want to do is, as you can see on this lightsaber, there are three points. You're going to select the one that you want um, him to hold. So that's going to be right here. And then I like to go to multiple and you can select the blade as well. And then it's very simple. You click this magnet over here called the snap tool. And you're going to hit that and it should say select a snap point and you're going to select the point where you want this point to connect to. Um, in this case, it will be right here on his hand. Um, so as you can see, that little dot turns green when I hover over it. And you're going to go ahead and click that and it should go right in place. So there you go. You've got your minifigure all positioned. I think I'm going to rotate his head a little bit more. All right, so now I think I'm pretty happy with how that is. After you've got everything all positioned, you are going to want to get a camera because you're going to need to kind of get a little picture and you can move this just like the, uh, the Lego pieces so that you can kind of rotate these as well. So for example, I'm going to go, let's say that I think was the same amount. Yeah, we're gonna go like that. And then you can select X, you can do um, angle it down like that and you'll see this little pop-up and it will show the camera's view and so you can adjust to that make it look however you would like and once you are happy with your positioning we can then move on to rendering but before that I typically like to save mine so you can hit file and save and then you can um, kind of name it whatever you want I'm going to name it tutorial and when you want to see your saved models, like let's say you need to take a break or something, uh, you are going to hit your um, name and then you should see all of your projects. So once you've got everything set up, you can go ahead and go to 3D rendering. And you'll see exactly the same thing, except without the ground. Um, the next thing I personally like to do is hit camera view. This allows you to see what exactly you're going to be rendering. And then in here, you can play around with the lighting. So you can kind of just select whatever setting you want and then you can rotate it by moving your mouse um, left to right. Um, so you can kind of see how that works. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. This is kind of the setting that I've gone for. Um, and then to make a light super glow, you're going to want to hit this drop down, select the color of your lightsaber or whatever translucent piece you're trying to make glow. I'm going to hit the light blue since that's what we got. And then you're going to hit the plus. And as you can see, it's already gotten a little bit brighter, but we're going to make it a lot brighter by kind of scrolling to the right. And obviously, as you can see, when I move this, it gets brighter and darker. Um, so that is how you're going to make that glow. When you do have glowing pieces, I do recommend having a dark background just because it makes it pop a little bit more. But yeah, and speaking of backgrounds, you can go ahead and hit this checkbox if you do want to do a background you can uh, kind of play around with the color um, same with floor you can add a floor we've got different kinds over here um, or you can do no floor and no background and have a PNG which is what I typically like to do 
because then it just makes it a little bit easier for me to make thumbnails, make um, different things like that. So I'm not going to do a background, but obviously you can if you would like. So once you're done setting up the lighting and everything, you are going to go over here into the render tab. You're going to select whatever format you would like. And then very simple, you're going to hit render. As you can see, it will load. And this typically takes less than a minute, which is really, really great. All right, so as you can see, it is almost done. It looks a little bit pixely. Um, but you can kind of see the reflection there. You can see the glowing lightsaber. It does, this is not the best render, but um, I think you guys kind of get the point. After you do that, you can go ahead and click download. Don't worry about the price thing. That's It doesn't make you pay anything, but yeah. So after you hit download, this is what you should see, and you can go ahead and hit share. I'm on a MacBook, so you can airdrop it to your phone. You can save it to your photos. Really just whatever you want to do with it. Um, but yeah. So that was pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.